Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your Mac to the new Mac OS. Now, remember, before you do any updates, just make sure that your apps will be compatible, plus make a Time Machine backup. Time Machine is something already installed on your Mac. So, right out here, I have my Time Machine set up, and I already made a backup today. So, I'm all right. So, make sure to make that backup only if you care about your files. Other than that, let's just go on the top left hand corner, you're going to see your Apple logo. Under your Apple logo, you will see your second option where it says System Preferences. Just tap right there. And then on your left side, you will see Software Update. So that's your left side, almost in the bottom. It's going to say Software Update. Just click on Software Update. Under Software Update, we will see this new update, which is quite big. It's 12 gigs. If you click on more information it's going to take you back to this website where on the top right hand corner you're going to see update now if you click on update now it will open up the app store i just want to show you that so you guys can see a little bit more information about the update itself because if you guys are in an older mac os this update will take care of itself under the app store and not under system preferences so before i go on and press on upgrade now i want to show you that second way so on the top left hand side of your screen, you will see the Apple logo and App Store. So just go into your App Store. That's just in case you don't see the update right now. Just type in Big Sur. And right here, we're going to see Big Sur on the bottom. So just type in, there we go, view. We're going to view it. And then we can just click on get. So those are the two ways that we can go about this update. However, for now, I'm just going to close up my App Store. I'm going to go back into here and I'm gonna update from here. So remember that this is 12 gigs, so make sure you're not working on something, you do not in your computer for at least 30 minutes. And yes, for some of you with slower internet, 12 gigs could take an entire day. So it does depend on your internet speed. Um, there will be some people here with really high internet speed. Well, this will only take a few minutes to download. Installation time, well, that also depends actually on your Mac. If you have a newer Mac, most likely it's a little bit faster, so this will be a little bit faster with a good SSD. And uh, with the older Macs, well, it might take a little bit longer. So right now we're going to go ahead and press on upgrade now. It's going to download the software first. So that's 12 gigs and we have to wait for that download to be done in order for, for this to be installed. Now at this point, you can actually leave your computer alone and it's going to do its thing. So it will restart. Yeah, it's going to restart for sure. So just make sure to always be plugged in, even if you're doing this on a MacBook, for example. Uh, your 100% battery, I would still plug it into some electricity just in case. If you're doing this on an iMac or anything else, then just have it plugged in and make sure to have that backup, which I mentioned before. If you get a message like this, 16 hours remaining, that's not actually true unless your internet's really, really sl slow, which in this case it isn't. Um, we're not going to see this in 16 hours. It's only 12 gigs. It's going to be uh, just a few minutes. Now we do want to show you what happens if you go into the Apple logo again and you go into App Store. We're going to look just for Big Sur once again. And just go right into it. And on the top right hand corner, we see Get. So if you click on Get, you will see this. It's just going to go in right into your system preferences and this will pop up. We're just going to click on Download which is something I already started since I already went into my system preferences. So this is a way of maybe forcing your Mac to do the update if you don't have that. And as always, I would like to mention that I do have automatically keep my Mac up to date. I do not have a check mark right there. I never do. And that's because I usually tell everybody to just wait for the update, do it a few months later, just in case. Unless you know for a fact that all your apps and everything you're using is gonna work on the newest Mac OS. As mentioned, the download process all depends on your Wi-Fi speed, so we just have to wait. Right now it's running in an okay-ish speed, and of course, if you guys did this right away, it would have done it really slow because everybody was doing it at the same time. However, towards nighttime or in the next few days, it's gonna be a little bit faster since there's less people downloading this at the same time. So after it does finish download, it's gonna give you this pop-up. All we have to do is just going to continue on. You do have to agree to this whole thing. You guys can scroll down and read it all. Make sure to read everything. Then click on agree. And once you guys have done that, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit for you guys. Just click agree on the top. We do have to select this, which is our internal hard drive. Just go on to continue on. 
to click on OK. And here we go. We're going to see this right here, which means it's actually installing finally on our Mac. After a minute or two, it's just going to ask you to install. So right now, all we have to do is restart. So on the bottom, you're going to see this button where it says restart. Just press right there. So after we press restart, it's going to do exactly that. It's going to close all your applications. And then all you should see is a black screen, then a Apple logo and this loading bar. So we're just going to wait for this loading bar to go the full way. So after just a bit, you will see an Apple logo and a loading bar. It's going to go really fast. And then you're going to see this another time. It's just going to do a black screen back to this Apple logo, another loading bar. But this time it's going to go a lot slower. After just a bit, you will see a message down here. It might say 26 minutes, 50 minutes, depends. It might go a little bit slower, faster, depending what time you're doing this. And also again, kind of your internet speed, but not really. This time it's all about your Mac. So in your Macs, go a little bit faster, especially if you have an SSD versus a Mac, which has just a regular hard drive. It's gonna run a little bit slower than a Mac with an SSD built in. For those of you who have an iMac with Fusion Drive, well, then it's going to go like medium speed. After just another few minutes, again, another Apple logo, another loading bar. However, in this case, it's going to go a lot faster than the previous one. The previous one was just a few minutes, around three to five minutes. This one's going to go a lot faster. Just after that Apple logo plus the loading bar, you're going to see another Apple logo, but this time no loading bar. You're just going to see that for a little bit and then the loading bar will just automatically appear and fill up again. So just about 20 minutes or so, you're gonna get back into the screen. So that's where you have to log in, just put in your password, and you're gonna see that everything should pop out again. So things do change, so just wait for your Mac. Be patient, don't start clicking everywhere. Um, there's a lot of things that are gonna happen. There's, you, you will see some stuff that um, won't work right away. There might be a few apps, a few programs that will not be compatible. You're gonna get those warning messages. But other than that, everything should be working okay. Um, hopefully you don't have to backtrack and go back to an older OS, but right now you are done. So at this point in time, if you go to software update, you're gonna see this. This is the message that you should see. So your Mac is up to date. We are in Big Sur, which is the newest OS for your Mac at the moment. If you see any of these messages popping up, we do have to look into them and see what's going on. We're just going to click on OK, OK. Close any other apps in the way, reminders, and there we go. So everything looks a little bit different under this OS. If we go back into here, it might be a little bit darker. Uh, the colors are a, bit, a little bit more saturated. We'll see that contrast a little bit more. But anyways, there's a bunch of differences right now with the new Mac OS. I'll make a video about that. I'll make a video about some of the glitches as well in this new Mac OS. I'll make a video of how to navigate a few new things about it. But that's it for this particular video since we are done with the updates. Anything else, you guys should always go into software update and take a look at if you guys need anything. Other than that, that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.